Our top story this afternoon, though, UT hosted its first graduation for the spring class of 2021. Oh, what a historic day for the university and these graduates. Six on your side's Kristen Gallant was there as students in the Haslam College of Business celebrated their hard work. This is the first time graduates were able to have their commencement ceremony at Neyland Stadium. Now, students did have to remain six feet apart, and as their names were called, they walked across three separate stages. But despite having to follow the CDC guidelines, students and their families were just happy to be here in person today for their graduation ceremony. It's honestly been a roller coaster. Four years of ups and downs. So proud, especially going through all this COVID stuff. I mean, it's really been a difficult year. Leading to this moment. I think that it's super cool that we're, we're in Neyland today. Haslam College of Business students are the first class ever to graduate at Neyland Stadium. It's a historic day for the University of Tennessee and its students after an unprecedented year. I feel bad for the people who graduated last semester. Yeah. They had to do it at a laptop, which kind of stinks. I wish that we could do graduation a little bit different, but um, it, I'm just grateful that I'm able to walk across the stage today. <laughs> These graduates' first day of college looks way different than their last. Going to class has become what you do, not always where you go. We always wanted her to to have the college experience and not live at home, even though we're only a few miles away. Just being so isolated and only having that interaction on a, on a computer screen, it's not the same. It's not the same college experience. But you are here because you persevered. And it's that perseverance that will guide them through their next chapter. You know, excited to be done, but excited for the next step too. I will actually start at Progressive in Knoxville, um, so I'll be staying close um, and working right along with my major, so I'm very excited. Commencement ceremonies will continue until Sunday. Now all the same CDC guidelines will be followed. Reporting in Neyland Stadium, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Oh, that's so neat to see. Uh, almost 5,000 students will walk across the stage over the weekend. And fun fact here, the last time grads were able to get their diplomas on Shields Watkins Field was 100 years ago, before Neyland Stadium was ever Neyland Stadium.